Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to tie-dye socks. These are a little tougher than the shirts you used to tie-dye as a kid, but they turn out looking pretty cool. For the materials, you'll need a bowl filled with water, a pack of socks, baggies, and a tie-dye kit. This comes with rubber bands and gloves, but only one big bag, hence the little baggies. First, take your socks and submerge them in water and wring them out. This will help them hold the color a little better. Then, open your tie-dye kit and start filling the bottles up to the line with water. If you aren't going to use all of the colors, don't mix them all or they will lose your vibrancy. The dye kit comes with instructions on how to do a couple of different designs, but I decided to just do my own thing, so I'm going to show you how to do two of the designs I did. The first is just a random pattern. Scrunch up the sock in random ways and rubber band it so it stays together. I chose to apply one color in between each rubber band line so it didn't mix together too much. Just an FYI, mixing colors like yellow, fuchsia, and turquoise will make brown, as well as purple and yellow, turquoise and orange, and fuchsia and green. Try to avoid mixing them. Also, make sure to flip over the sock to get the color on the other side. As for the second design, I chose to do a somewhat line pattern. Bunch the sock together long ways and rubber band as many sections off as you'd like. Then apply the color in between each rubber band section. Also make sure to flip it over and get the other side. So what we're going to do is we are going to tie-dye these socks behind us. I have me, my boyfriend, my cousin, and his boy here. So we're going to kind of do our own little thing and we'll show you guys how it looks. After you've finished all of your dyeing, put each set in plastic baggies for 6 to 8 hours or longer if you want more vibrant colors. We left ours overnight. The next day, remove the socks from the baggies and start rinsing them out until the water runs clear. I did ours outside so we didn't stain the white sinks. Then it's time to wash them. Stick them in the washer with warm water and a little bit of detergent. I started doing one set at a time, which was silly, so I threw the last four in together and they were fine. After that, you can put them in the dryer. And that's it! Your own custom tie-dye socks. These would work perfectly for sports games or just to wear for fun. They're your own creation, so the cool thing is, no two are the same. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, or subscribe below. Happy tie-dyeing!